everybody. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. Don't forget to like the video. Also share, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to hit the bell in case you'd like to be informed when I upload a new video. I figured I'd come on today and do a very quick video. I think I have a bag of junk jewels here. We will see when I open it up. Um, as you notice, that big pile of jewelry is gone. So today my goal is to get this area redone. And um, hopefully by the next video, hopefully, um, I kind of move uh, very slowly. So we will see what happens. I want to get this all straightened out differently and get myself organized here and hopefully um, it'll be much easier to work around. I have so much stuff piled up here you can't even imagine. So let's do this. I don't have big expectations for this bag but you you never know. Let's dump out a little bit and we'll put this over down here and let's see what we have. Okay, this is nice. Let me see if I can get this um, straightened out. This is a beautiful um, black and white seed bead with some bugle beads in it. And um, I just have to get it so that it's not twist it. It's hard to do sometimes. Okay, let me get this to the end of the extender. I love the way that this is finished off. Um, I'll show you. Uh, here you go. This is very pretty. Um, because of the bugle bleed beads, it has a lot of um, personality, a lot of glistening. Look at these two great big beaded balls back here. That's very, very pretty. It's got a very long extender on it. There you go. It's right there. And I'm going to show you these close up. They're really beautiful. This has a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of pizzazz. So this is a very pretty necklace. Um, I'll give you a close up. Here is the necklace itself. Wait a minute. Here. There you go. Give you a close up here. Okay, now the the balls. They're really pretty. There you go. This is a very nice necklace. All right, let's put that over here. Now there's no rhyme or reason to this because here I got an absolutely gorgeous 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 set of red beads um, and somebody took and put this I don't know what the, an arrowhead on this which doesn't even go with the flavor of the beads okay this needs to come off um, these beads are gorgeous I mean absolutely stunning beads um, they're all hand knotted in between. There is a tag on here. It's, it's two P's, I think, um, back to back with a cross in between them. I'm going to show you these beads up close. They're all glass. They're all gorgeous. So, and then I'll try to show you the, um, the, um, the, uh, the tag. Yeah, that worked out well, didn't it? I hope you're all having a great day. All right. These beads are unbelievable. All right, let me see if I can show you this tag. All right, so if anybody knows what this tag is, maybe you can let me know. Let's see if I can get it close up. Come on, baby. There's two peas. 
This aggravates me when this happens. Here we go. See them? Or they, they're peas. So, and it's got a cross in the center. So anyway, if you know anything about that, let me know. Like I said, maybe this goes with it. But I don't think so. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Let's see what we have here. Um, this is not marked that I can see, but it's nice. Okay. This is a um, beautiful chain. It's a... Uh, it's like a rope chain, but it's a little bit different. Now this um, in here, I gotta put it up to my face. Um, it's a dark colored stone. It appears to be a deep gray, maybe a black, but it has little marbling effects on the inside of it. Let me give you a close up. Very nice. I'm hoping that I can get you so you can see the marbling. There you go. It's ever so slight. Very well made. Okay. All right. So we have that. Let's see what kind of stuff we got here. All right. I got a big old piece of... Uh, this says something in here. I don't know what. It says Japan. Okay, it's just a wrapped adjustable ring, there you go, and it's adjustable inside, um, you see that, it's got some wear on the band, but it's a beautiful piece of agate in here, beautiful. Okay, let's see what other kinds of junk jewels we can pull out of here. Okay, this here um, needs a good wipe down, but it's a nice, a nice necklace. I will clean this off. Okay, it's long. These are, um, there's a ribbon that it's on, and the ribbon runs through. It's just dusty. But because the ribbon really shines really good, so the ribbon is not, um, it's not dirty or anything. Like I said, it's just dusty. These are, I think these are black, some of them. Some of them are like a, a violet color, and there's all shapes and sizes of the beads. Um, very nice gold tone finish here, and gold tone beads here. And the findings throughout are gold tone. So let me give you a close up. Turn Buster's behind away from the camera. All right, put this in my hand and give you a close up. There's some nice things here. Once this is wiped down, it'll be wonderful. Okay, condition is great. All right, so we have that. Now I have another ring. This is all glass. This is pretty. Almost looks like a bat on there, but it's not. It's just black going through this clear glass ring. It's very pretty. Okay. Got that. Over with that. All right. Oh, we got a piece of something here. Sometimes you never know what you're going to find in the middle of these bags, and that's what we're at right now. Okay. We have a beautiful little sunflower brooch. Sunflower. Daisy. Excuse me. Daisy brooch. And she's perfect. She's got an older clasp on the back. All right. Very, very sweet. Look how nice and polished that enamel is. And uh, I don't see any chipping on the enamel. Okay, we have another one. This is a JJ. And this one's very pretty. Let me see. The, I'm going to put it the way that the pin goes. This is a cardinal. Okay, very pretty. And like I said, it's a JJ. And you should be able to see that here. There you go, right down there in the bottom, JJ. And uh, 
That is also an older style clasp. Okay, so we got that. All right, let's see what this big thing is here. If I can get it all, this is nice. Wow, it's heavy too. Let me get this undone from here. Something's, it's tangled. There we go. Okay. This is very, very, very pretty. It does have a, a minimal amount of wear um, on, the, um, on the extender, but it's very pretty. Okay, this is all glass beads, and we have different ones in here. We have um, um, gold tone, and we have some crystals floating around in between here, and then the black beads, and they're all layered. It's a heck of a statement necklace. Let me show you. It's very pretty. Let me see if I can wrap this in my hand, give you a good look at it. Okay, hang on here. All right. So we have that. Here goes the little monsters. I got both of them in here today. All right, let's see what else we have here. Oh, we have another brooch. This one's not, um, this one here is not old. Right. This still has part of the price tag on it. I'm giving it a quick look over to see if I see anything missing. I don't. Okay. It's very pretty. It's it's very large. It takes up the whole palm of my hand. So there's a newer type cla um, pin back, but it is a very pretty pin. All right. I don't know what this is. Somebody made this, but it's cute. And it's not new because it has an older style pin back on it. All right, it's um, it's an ivory color with uh, gold. And what I mean by older style, it doesn't have the clasp going through it. It just slides underneath. Okay, and it has a fringe. This is very pretty. I would say this is probably... Um, Probably from the 80s. It's um, it's not without its problems, but it's not bad. Okay, last thing that I... Whoa, whoa, nope, nope. No, that's broken. So we have a pin here that evidently got broken in transit. All right, I now have a studio watch. All right, um, let me see if it's going. I don't see it going, but this is in brand new condition. It's a really nice uh, um, cuff watch. It's in gunmetal. It's really, really nice. There's no marks, no nothing on it. Um, the back is beautiful. Let's see if I can show you that. Nice and clean. It's not scratched up. So it's a very nice high fashion watch here. All right, let's get the rest out of this bag. See what kind of goodies we have in here. I'm almost afraid to look. This turned out to be a little bit um, better than I thought. So, okay, we have a red and white all glass. I think it's all glass. All glass stretch bracelet. It's got some beautiful beads in it. Um, let me check these other ones here. These other ones, yeah, they're glass too. They're very nice. All right. One more look and then a close-up. Very, very pretty. Okay. Uh, we got one of these. This one is very good stretch. And this is an ivory to a beige, mother of pearl. This one's actually very nice. Um, it's got high gloss on it. Condition is unbelievable. And it feels good on my wrist. So it's not all stretched out or anything. 
it's a little different than most. I think this one here is a more of a high quality in the um, pieces in the uh, they, they, they're made to really fit well together. Okay, now I have, well this is weird. I think it's wood. It's kind of primitive. Bangle. All right, it's got some markings on it. I like this bangle. That's, you know why? Because it's different. It has different things in the wood, some natural things that you see happening. Turn it over. You see all that? This is nice. Okay, let me see here. Um, we have this, which is a Charming Charlie, but this, I think, has seen better days. Okay, I'll leave that right there. And then we have a pair of post earrings that look like they have what they what you would call snake skin in them. Some kind of skin. You also need a good wipe down. All right, let me see what else I have here. Um, yeah, this pin here, I don't know what it was, but it's broken, and I have to look further. All right, well, we have left now pretty much. Oh, I did find it. Yeah, but where did it go to? It disappeared. I will find it. I saw it fall. What I'm talking about is we have pretty mother of pearl ear earrings here. And I think the one was attached on this necklace and it just fell down. So I got to look for that. Um, this is an old um, plastic necklace. Nothing real majorly special. And, um, you know, it's a good layering piece. There you go. Okay, and the last watch we have is by... Boy, this has had its share of wear. Um, let me see this here. It's quartz, too. It's called Swiss... Swiss Gold. It really needs a cleaning. which I will do. Nice bracelet. It is filthy. Okay. I will take some time after I'm done with the video and clean this up. I don't know why. The back of the watch is scratched. I don't know. Maybe somebody trying to put a battery in it. But it's nice. Unfortunately, it's got some issues, but I'll clean it up and see what it looks like. Okay, I found the other earring, and this is really pretty. They're very pretty together. They're on gold findings. Shepherd hooks. They're very pretty. They would go really nice with this bracelet, by the way. I know what you guys all think of these bracelets. I do too in a lot of ways, but this one is just different. It's very smooth. The pieces are not all, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's put together well. It's almost like they matched up the pieces um, so that it would go together really well. It feels so darn good when it's on your wrist. So anyway, there we go with that. And that is it. That's the quick bag that I had for you. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, get ready to see some changes around here. Because I'm going to be making them. I mean, as far as my little setup here. Today I got uh, some packing to do and more cleaning. Excuse me. And uh, I need to get this all straightened out. So, again, see this? It's the end of the video now. If you didn't do this in the beginning, you should do it now. Very important. You'll break my heart if you don't. Okay, I'm only kidding. Anyway, 
do like, do share, do comment, and do subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell. I hope everybody has a great day. Stay safe out there. All right, think about your neighbor, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Have a good time, everyone. Bye-bye.